Charles Tinley Accelerated School. Clay Middle School. Jonathan Jennings, Number 9. Lincoln Middle School. So, um, this has gone viral, okay? Club Shay Shay, uh, Shannon Sharp, he went to a church, and um, I see a lot of kids in the audience, so it is under my assumption that this is some kind of uh, maybe motivational speech based off of the town that he's from. And, you know, he was giving a lot of insight. He was talking about, you know, where he came from, his struggles, you know, how he started off from the beginning, where he got his motivation from, the people that he looked up to. And a woman made a post and she said, it's interesting um, seeing the way black men are allowed to operate in churches. He has a viral podcast with clips of him publicly lusting after S workers, speaking on intimacy with 20 year olds, um, but is allowed to lead a congregation. A woman could never receive this welcome. And immediately after I saw that post, okay, my mind, uh, you know, immediately went to this. <laughs> okay, my mind went directly to this situation. It's so interesting to me that I always hear women talk about, oh, you know, well, how come men get to do and women don't get to do? And it's not fair and it's wrong and it's this. And we see that when this couple goes to church because of the prayer that she had to get her man, she they are, they are uh, you know, warm welcomed on the front pew. No matter what portrayal is out there, no matter how you dress, no matter how you're portraying yourself, no matter if, if the pastor and everybody in the congregation done seen the booty cheeks, it's all good. You're allowed on the front row because of the things that you say out of your mouth, whether they line up with the portrayal of who you are or not. Now, what I want to say is I am not sitting up here trying to say that I am in charge of anybody else's belief systems or that there's certain things that people do that disqualify or qualify them because it is about your heart posture. That don't have nothing to do with me. But I am talking about being an observer of the things that women are complaining that other women do not have the equal opportunity to do. This woman is mad because a single man is talking about the things that he does or has done or the things that he's interested in. And he is allowed to maybe give back to his community, be a motivational speaker and all of these things. But at the same time. When situations arise and it's the women, we do not see these same women in the comment section saying anything. We do not see these same women saying, well, this is an awful representation. Well, this is something that we do not our, want our younger girls to follow and be in. We do not want this person to be a role model for them. This is disgusting. This is absolutely distasteful. How can she wear this and then she's turning around and she's on the front row? You know, this is awful. Why is this so easily accepted? Why, why are the people who are, you know, halfway portraying this nice girl image, why are they halfway city girls, but then they're friends with the people who are leading certain congregations? Why does that make sense? We don't hear that conversation. You want to know why? Because in this men versus women battle, you see what she says? It's interesting seeing the way that black men are allowed to operate in churches. 
a woman could never receive this welcome. So is it that you feel the things that he is doing is wrong or is it that you want women to be able to get, um, you know, the, the same pass that you feel that these men are getting? Which one is it? Is it that he's wrong to be up there or is it that you want women to be able to do the same exact things, go out there, you know, be promiscuous, talk all kind of stuff and still be received by the con congregation? Because as we can see, the argument's not lining up. I don't understand why women always complain about, you know, certain um, ideas or certain things that men do. You know, women, they complain all the time. Oh, these men, they get to go out here and they get to do this. Oh, these men out here doing this. But if a woman did it, but if a woman did it, but if a woman did it, they always do that when they feel that a man is operating incorrectly. But my my question really is, is it that you have a problem with it or is it unfair that women are not judged the same way that men are? Because that's what it sounds like to me. To me, when I see these conversations, when I see these women, you know, putting their tidbit in, and even if a man is doing something for their community or whatever, they have to find fault or find negativity in the space and try to bring a woman into something that has nothing to do with anything else. To me, it's a great representation of you have fear of missing out. You want to be able to do everything that a man can do, but you're not wired the same way that a man is by nature. You want to be able to dibble and dabble and do all the things and not be judged for it. And this is what gets me, right? The reason why I brought this up is because I, I needed to show women that the things that they are saying is, is really not, it doesn't make any sense. You know, my word is foolishness. It's foolishness. They had to create, they had to pull up this picture of this athlete shirtless and put it up there. But this is not something that had to, this is not an athlete. This is not somebody who is um, a bodybuilder. This was a public display. This is a, a fashion choice. That this person made to negate this person, you know, to negate what he was doing, although he was dressed in sweatpants or whatever the case is that he had on, to negate what he's doing, they're trying to add this picture in of him shirtless. Look at this. The things that these women are saying does not make any sense. What are they fighting for? I'm confused. I'm confused about it. Because in my opinion, I think we have seen a lot of foolishness go on in every space. And it's almost as if a lot of these women feel that women should be above reproach. You shouldn't be able to say anything negative about a woman. You shouldn't be able to call a woman out about her behavior. You shouldn't be able to, uh, you know, bring light on the fact that she is doing things that are wrong or unjust or, you know, that she's disrespecting her spouse. You shouldn't be able to bring anything up. But when a man does something. They're going to, oh, well, you know, that's not right. Well, how come this? Oh, well, you know, you see, oh, these men always get away with stuff. Well, where where was the, that same energy when, when these posts came out? When these posts came out, it was, oh, well, you know, well, her husband don't have no problem with it. So what's the problem? Oh, well, you know, that's not right because, you know, she just being who she is. She's happy within herself. What's the problem? Again, that's because it's not that you feel necessarily that what he is doing is wrong or inadequate or you feel like he's messed up about it or, you know, he should be checked about it. That's not what it is. It's that when women do wrong things, you want to be you want to make sure 
that they are giving grace. And a lot of women have this energy and have this mindset because they think that if one woman is allowed to get a lot of grace when she does the wrong thing, that means that when I do the wrong thing, it's going to be the same situation. Because they don't want to be held accountable across the board. Because they want to while out across the board. And that's the truth. You you know you want to know what's very interesting is that from what I've seen of of Shannon Sharp, okay, I've never seen him portray himself to be, um, you know, like a, a, a somebody who is faithful in a church or you know committed or talk about certain things. I've never seen it. I've never seen it. I'm not gonna lie to you. Growing up, you know, there's always athletes and stuff, people who are contributing to churches who get up and they talk and they speak and stuff like that because of, uh, you know, the representation of them getting out of that certain community and being able to use their finances to not help the younger kids and help them financially to be able to get through school or scholarships or whatever, that mentorship, whatever the case it is. But you see, in the same aspect, because they say women don't get away with it, so I have to bring this up. In the same aspect, this is somebody who was going on, you know, on the record. She got really famous, uh, you know, not, not famous because she was already famous, but she made a lot of traction behind her prayer. And her faith. And that's why she has the husband she has now because of her prayer. And then when we hold that same woman to a high standard, the same women who are complaining now about Shannon Sharp going on, you know, going out there and being, an, oh, that's not fair. Whenever you hold this same person to a high standard and say, hey, wait a minute, hold up now. I understand all those things, but we look at you a little bit differently based on the things that come out of your mouth. We expect you to be a little bit different. We expect you not to wear these things. We expect you to portray yourself in a certain light based on the things that you say. Those same women are like, oh, no, y'all need to leave her alone. Y'all need to stay out of married people business. Y'all need to stop. Oh, well, if you you need to be your own role model for your kids because, you know, you can't. And then when I say that the women today are the biggest hypocrites. People are mad at me for it. But it's true. Let me reiterate. The problem is not that this man has done these things that you say that he has done and that he's accepted. The problem is, is that you want women to be able to do all that they can do and be accepted as well. So it's not really a condemnation for the things that he's doing where you should be saying, you know, maybe they should be vetting people properly before they let them up there, before they let them in these spaces. You just want to make sure that it's an equal opportunity space. It's mind boggling to me that women are complaining about the fact that they have to be held to a higher regard. Oh, it's not fair that we have to respect ourselves. It's not fair that we're not allowed to be promiscuous because people want us to honor our bodies. It's not fair that, you know, men, because they're the ones who are the car parking in the garage, that they're able to impregnate, you know, a hundred people at a time, but a woman can only get pregnant once. It's not fair that that's not our nature. It's not fair that we were created differently. It's not fair. Imagine that you're in a space that women are complaining that it is not fair that they have to hold themselves to a high standard. It's not fair that you have to respect yourself. But at the same time, these are the same women who come on social media or come out to the forefront and they complain about the fact that they are constantly disrespected. Oh, you know, we need to be protected because, you know, don't nobody respect us. Make men men again. Men don't love us the same. They didn't just wake up one day and change. You did. The access you provided changed. The way you portray yourself changed. So the dynamics changed. 
imagine that you're upset and you're angry at the fact that you are created differently. And everybody knows that you're supposed to, to hold yourself to a higher regard because of how sacred you are, except for you. And you're fighting against that. To prove what to whom. You're mad, you know, basically in that post, what you're trying to say is, is that you're mad that he is not the, per, you know, the precise role model to be up there and to be giving any insight about anything. But in a woman's case, when it's the women, this is one scenario, but, you know, Krishan Rock, always in the uh, at the pulpit. And then won't come out, be on social media, calling on names, you know, disrespecting herself, saying all types of stuff. There was a woman who who um, was a was an IG model turned around and decided that she's going to start having women fellowship meetings and then was caught out the country after the women's fellowship meetings twerking on somebody. And, and she was accepted. Everybody came to her defense. Oh, people change. You're not supposed to do that. That's not right. Because you see, how can you? Even Black China came out, said so she changed her life, got baptized, this, that. And women were flocking. Yes, I'm glad that you're changing your ways. So what do you mean that it's not accepted when men do? Oh, men do this and, you know, they can get they get away with everything. But when women do it. What are you talking about? How are you mad at a single man for talking about the stuff that he does as a single man who is who has no commitment to anybody? But you're not mad at somebody who's actually married. Who's portraying themselves in a certain light. And I got to be honest with you, okay? I got to be really honest with you. This is not back in the day, you know, the, the, the regard that they're trying to even hold these places to, if I'm being really honest, it's not like back in the day where you had, you know, Big Mama coming from the front row telling you that you got to put on a lap skirt because she could see your knees and your ankles. That's not even the time that we're in. A lot of these spaces are very free for all. Sometimes y'all worried more about the people who coming into the church and the things that they're saying, but you not even thinking about the, the things that's going on behind closed door and within the walls. But I don't want to, that's a conversation for a different day. If we're going to be real about it. Oh, y'all let these men get away with a whole bunch of stuff. So I hope y'all let women get away with it too. It's crazy. I'd like to know what you guys think about this in the comment section down below. I would love to hear you guys' opinions on this video. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Love you.